Welcome to Atomic TV and Art Daywell Gymnasium as the Richmond Bombers host the Kamaikan Braves. I'm Max Schuster alongside Scotty Kump. Tonight, the Richmond Bombers host the Kamaikan Braves for the 56th time in Art Daywell Gymnasium. It's been a 52-year rivalry between these two schools. Several of those contests have proven to be pivotal in deciding the conference district or regional supremacy. And tonight's game is no different. Richland enters this matchup undefeated 13-0, and the Kamaikan Braves sit at 10-2 in conference play. After the matchup, two games remain, and both will both play to be played by both of these squads. Kamaikan will look to extend their chances at a conference championship led by junior guard Peter Dress, who sits in second scoring in the MCC, uh, right behind Grant Olson uh, for the Hermiston Bulldogs. And also with Fabian Hernandez scoring 15 points, Javier Sergregas scoring 13 points, and Peter's uh, role who, who scored uh, uh, not as many as he normally does uh, against uh, the Bombers last time, but still played a pivotal role and for the Bombers side of things, last time these two teams faced off, Josh Woodard le led this offense to the win, uh, as well as Jack Forbes with the big dunk and, and Luke Westerfield manning the paint. Scotty, tonight is going to be a very exciting matchup, matchup for multiple reasons. One, we saw the we saw the matchup last time between these two teams, but two, both teams have, have proven how good of teams they are throughout the rest of the season since the last time we played. Absolutely, you know. Two top teams in the conference, just super exciting matchup to watch. You know, you got Bombers undefeated, looking to keep that streak alive. Obviously, just in conference games, and then my team just got some very hot players, Peter and Javier as well. Javier. Yeah, and, and so Scotty, the big thing about tonight is there's so much hype and so much energy in this gym. I couldn't, I, I've been to a lot of Bomber games, and I couldn't tell you the last time I've seen Art Daywall this full and with this much energy. The student section for the Bomber has been full since, I think, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, and and Kamaikin's filling up very shortly over here. On the screen, you see the MCC Boys Basketball Conference standings. Uh, Richardson at 13-0, Kamaikin sitting at 11-2, like we said earlier. Uh, the Bombers with the win, they could be cut next tonight. Uh, but Kamaikin could hold them short and then cause the Bombers to win out uh, to see if they can can cut nets next time uh, against any of the other teams that are against Kennewick or Walla Walla at home on Tuesday. Uh, the AP 4A poll pops on, up on the screen right there. Richland is currently sitting at 8th at 15-2 in the state. Uh, you see Gonzaga Pret sitting at 5th, uh, the GSL conference number one conference number one uh, and, and, and I'm, ex I'm excited tonight Scotty the lots on the line it's more than a basketball game uh, tonight 11th in RPI rankings the Bombers sit out Kamai can sit at 14 so top 15 matchup here in the state and it's going to be phenomenal uh, it's going to be really fun to watch and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what tonight holds Scotty uh, and see what Josh Woodard the Bombers offense can do with, as well as Peter Dress on the other side of things for the Kamai can Braves and we'll throw it down right now to Michael Lees for your guys' team intros.
they've always had this basketball tradition. Close to 5,000 people, if not more, on hand here at Daywall Gym. Welcome back here to Atomic TV. I'm Max Schuster alongside Scotty Cohen. Tonight is a matchup unlike any other I've ever done. Uh, Scotty, I, I can't describe the energy in this in this gym. We have most student sections at max capacity. We have all the news stations around. We have every photographer who's photog who, who takes pictures of sports. I mean, it is phenomenal what what's the energy in this gym is undescribable right now and i'm i just can't wait till tip off i've been to many many games in my lifetime you know i'll start coming when i was young i have never seen it this full in our world gym before it's just it's unmatched after the game we saw last time i think people wanted a taste of it people may not have gone and they will not be disappointed. This is Luke Westerfield facing off against Xavion Gladney. No, it'll be facing off uh, Javier Sidaritz. Never mind, it's back to Gladney.
Anticipation builds here as we're waiting for the media timeout to end. As the timeout ends, tip-off is shortly underway here in our Daywall Gymnasium. Tip is won by the Bombers, and Woodard will set the offense up the first time here for the Bombers. Gets it over to Wopolinski. Northrop to Woodard, Woodard drives, takes it himself up and under, no good. Gladney goes the other way. First take, no good, lay in, no good, and Forbes brings down the rebound. Ball's on the ground, Dress ends up with it. And Bopolinski keeps the ball, and they'll slow things down and set the offense up. Luckily, Landon was able there to contest a shot against Gladney. Made a great defensive play. This is Northrop with the ball on the wing. As Wopolinski makes a phenomenal cut. First two points of the game are for the Bombers. This is Javier. Ball gets knocked loose, gets it over to Gladney. Skip passes. Inside it's dress, guarded by Wopolinski. Turn around, shot no good. Gladney brings down the rebound. It's Westerfield playing defense, forces the miss. Gladney gets another opportunity. This time he's fouled as he goes up. He's going to the line, shooting two. A very exciting matchup that we're gonna still get to see tonight between Gladney and Westerfield. First, one of the first possessions here, they're already going at it. Gladney able to get a second chance, but gets fouled on the way up, shooting two. Gladney makes the first. Horn Rapids hoop cam there showing you the free throws. Gladney on the line. Makes the second, ties this ball game up here early. It's Woodard that will bring up the court. Gets it over to Northrop. Northrop inside the Westerfield. Westerfield finds Wopolinski in the corner and he buries it from three. Corner three by Jace Wopolinski. Huge shot by Wopolinski. Able to get up over the defender. Now he's playing tough defense on dress. Picks it out. Three point shot, no good that time by Wagger. Woodard drives. Takes it himself, coast to coast, fouled on his way up. He's going to the line, shooting two. Come on, get fouled, number 15, Tyson Wager, his first personal team's first. At the line, shooting two with the bomber, Josh Woodard. Woodard makes the first. Can't connect on the second as Javier will bring down the rebound. Fabian Hernandez setting up the offense. Guarded by Northrop. Top of the key. This is Dress guarded by Bopolinski. Turnaround shot. That's good. Tough shot by Peter. Dress Fine. averaging 20.8 points uh, a, a game. Bopolinski this year averaging every defender he guarded to five points less at, than their normal game average. Bopolinski this time makes it, or Westerfield makes a great basket and gets it to go. That will also be a super fun matchup to watch tonight. This Here. is Forbes guarding Javier. These two definitely have a history between each other. That time Javier goes over the top of Forbes. Northrop gets it to Woodard. Woodard takes to the left side. Pump fakes. Mid-range shot now. No good. Westerfield fighting for the rebound. Dress ends up saving it, getting it in to Gladney. Javier. Pump fakes from three. This is Wager. Slowing things down, setting this offense up for the Braves. This dress with that top of the three. 
Guarded by Woodard. Shot clock expiring, and the shot clock expires before any shot is off. It's going the other way. Bomber ball. Great defense by the Bombers. It shows that all of them were able to kind of play any position. You saw there Woodard on dress. He's able to contain him. Made him pass. Now Forbes with it out on, on the wing. Had Westfield but missed him. They swing it all the way to the corner. Northrop from three. No good. Leaves it off the front rim. Hernandez going the other way. Javier missing, and that's off the shot clock. Valencia in for Westfield. Westfield will be taking a break. Shoemaker and Marilyn for the Braves. As Dress took it rest. In the corner, this is Woodard. Woodard unloads from three, and that's good. Corner three, Josh Woodard. Seen that a few times. Bummer able to get some great looks in the corners now. Shoemaker finds Merrill. Merrill misses the lay -in. Glad he made an athletic play, but it's off his hand, and it's going the other way. This is a media timeout called. Three minutes, 36 seconds left in the first quarter. The Bombers lead 11-6 over the Kamaika Braves. We'll be back here shortly on Atomic TV. Welcome back here to our Daywall Gymnasium and Atomic TV. The Richland Bombers lead 11 to six over the Kamaikan Braves. This is Woodard setting the offense up, gets it over to Vol Volplinski. Wild pass there by Volplinski, trying to find Valencia down low, could not connect. Yeah, he had him just for a second there, but got a little too excited. This is Hernandez looking for something. Gets it over. That's Shoemaker. It's Dress guarded by Forbes. Northrop gets a hand in there and it's phenomenal defense there. Woodard goes up for the land, gets blocked, but no, it's a foul called. He's going to the line, shooting two. Athletic play by Javier there, able to get up and get the squat. Fortunately, came down with the foul. This is Woodard on the line. Horn Rapids hoop cam there. Second one good by Woodard.
Javier looking for something inside. Gets it over Shoemaker. Shoemaker has dress inside, but gets it to Hernandez on the top. Shoemaker unloads from three. No good. Javier able to bring down the rebound. Valencia tips it out. But Hernandez gets the putback point. Foul called on the Braves. Foul called on number four, Jake Shoemaker. Yeah, his last few possessions, once he's just trying to, I know, he's trying to post up on Shoemaker there and get it down low, get an easy bucket, but can't quite get it to him. And that time, foul called. We'll see if he continues to try and post up. Westerfield back in the game, so we obviously won't see Valencia down low. A travel called. It looked like Wooder was just trying to get his footing. Couldn't quite find it. It's going the other way. Kamai can ball. Four-point game now. 12-8, to eight, the Bombers lead. This is dress guard by Vopolinski. Dress unloads from three. It's a phenomenal shot there. Deep three there from Dress. Stroyford guarded by Merrill. Inside, this is Westerfield. Loses possession of the ball, and Shoemaker gets the steal. Dress going another way now. Stolen by Woodard. Woodard tiptoes on the sideline, gets it across the key to Valencia, goes up for the foul. And Woodard couldn't quite bring the rebound in. Refs are really letting the kids play here tonight. Always fun to see. Fouls, three to one. The Braves have three. This is Dress, drives, finds Gladney down low. A blocking foul is called. Wednesday trying to go for the charge. Looks like he almost could have got it. Refs don't agree. Dress blocked by Westerfield there. Woodard going the other way. And Woodard finds Wolinski. In the corner, it's Valencia. Valencia drives, spins. Mid-range shot, no good. Westerfield trying to tip it to somebody. That's Kinsley. Number 33. Yeah, Kinsey he had dress in transition. Couldn't find him though. Gladney drives. After the pump fake, Westerfield gets a recovery block, but it's a foul called. Rooster replay right there. Take another look at that. Yeah, Westerfield pretty upset about that one. On the block. Foul extra. Gladney buries the first. Javier and Fabian will check in for the Braves. And in for the game for the Bombers is Landon Northrup in for Vopolinski. Gladney buries both. Gladney, four for four from the line today, here just in the first quarter. This is Woodard, gets it over to Northrop. Woodard inside Westerfield. Westerfield makes a move, goes to the hoop, uses the glass and gets it to go. Mike and almost came in for the double team, but Westerfield faked the pass, went back up off the glass. Javier, risky pass over to Fabian. It's Hernandez. Javier drives on Northrop. Across the key, finds Kingsley. 
Great find there by Javier. Kinsley got the easy two points. As time expires, he got it off before the buzzer, but it's in and out at the end of the first quarter. The Bombers trail the Braves 14 to 15. We'll be back here after the break. Welcome back here to our Daywell Gymnasium here on the Tommy TV. We're presenting you the Kamaikan Braves hosted by the Richmond Bombers. This is Xavion Gladney inbounding it. Gets Hernandez in the backcourt. This is Gladney looking for someone. Northrop gets the steal. Loses possession, but still got the lay in the go. Great play by the freshman Northrop. Hernandez gets it over to Gladney. This is Dress now guarded by Northrop. Dress, nice easy floater over Westerfield there as he drove. This is Woodard coming the other way. 16 17, the Bombers trail the Kamaika Braves. Westerfield to Forbes. Forbes gets it to Woodard. Woodard getting a screen from Westerfield. He cuts. Left handed lay in. That's good. A phenomenal shot there. Come another way. That's Kinsley. Called a jump ball. Woodard wanted to steal, but got a little too aggressive. This is Woodard. Cut, jabs one way, goes the other. Woodard takes it himself. A nice, easy lay in there by Josh Woodard. Woodard with nine points here early in the second quarter. Dress guarded by Volkolinski once again as Hernandez cuts. Lay in, somehow gets it to go. Hey, 
Northrop gets it to Woodard. Woodard driving again. That time again gets it to go. Phenomenal finish there. Yeah, he saw three Kamaikan players try and block that. Somehow he got it through them. It was 11 points of the half. 22-19 now the Bombers lead. As Javier drives, kicks it to the corner. This is Hernandez. And it's Gladney pump fakes from three. Hernandez around the rim, and that's good. A one-point game now. The Bombers lead by one. Foul called. James Kinsley, his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. This is Wager and Valencia checking in. It's over to Woodard. Corner. This is Northrop. Northrop, no good from three. And they say it's off the hands of the Braves, and it's Richland all. Scotty still, this is the energy in this gym is off the charts. Uh, still, so many people. Uh, it's a great basketball game. Travel called on Landon Northrop. Yeah, it's still early on, but I mean, so far it's. Looked up to the hype. I mean, 21 22. Still just the second quarter, but fun game to watch. Excited to watch the rest. Over to Hernandez. Inside. It's Gladney guarded by Forbes. Gladney makes a move. No good. Off the bottom of the hoop. That time, Javier for the third. Chance uh, got it to go. Northrop gets it on the wing. Gets it to Woodard. Foul called. That foul is on Tayson Wager. Three times now we've seen that off-ball foul kind of starting to become a trend in this game. Jordan Valencia from three, no good. Hernandez. Gets a double dribble, lost control, and it's a timeout called by the Bombers. A 30-second timeout here with four minutes, 36 seconds left in the first half. The Bombers trail the Braves 22 to 23. We'll be back here shortly on Atomic TV. Back from the break. Bombers keep the same lineup in. This is Northrop. Finds Forbes down low. Forbes turns around, gets fouled on the way up, and he's going on the line, shooting two. There's a replay on that. Lots of contact there on the arm. Yeah, he, he wasn't quite able to get it off, so I don't know the rules, so I probably could be talking, but curious on what constitutes as a shooting foul. First one short off the front rim. Second one in and out, no good for Forbes. It's Hernandez. We'll walk it across half court. This is Forbes. 
going the other way. He goes up and he dunks it. A big dunk and lots of energy here in our Daywall Gymnasium after Jack Forbes gets another dunk on the season. Hernandez drives. Valencia fighting for it down low. Javier somehow gets out to go. Amazing shot ability to work his work in the air as Valencia has it out. Inside it's Valencia. Great pass there by Wooder and a great finish by Valencia. That went up, it got tipped and almost like it helped to go into the basket there. <laughs> Dress guarded by Vopolinski. Top of the three, that's no good. It's Richland ball. And it's immediate timeout here with three minutes, 12 seconds left in this first half. The Bombers lead 26 25. We'll be back here shortly. This is Woodard, here with three minutes left in this first half. Bombers setting the offense up. Valencia, good, from three. Big three-pointer there by Valencia, hand in the face and everything. Yeah, he faked one way, crossed it back over. It will knock down the three. It's Valencia gets it to Vopolinski. He goes up. It gets blocked by Javier, but Woodard in the right place at the right time gets the putback. Another timeout called. This time it's by the Braves. Thirty-second timeout. We'll be back here shortly. Welcome back here at Art Daywall Gymnasium. Hey, you better be ready to Hernandez. This is Gladney. Over to Merrill. Or Wager, wager, wager sorry. Pump fake gets it over Hernandez. Hernandez drives and then somehow gets it to go over Westerfield's hand. Yeah. 
This is Woodard. Gets a screen from Westerfield. Double team, but this is Valencia with it. And Valencia. Wopolinski finds Westerfield down low. Storfer trying to find a pass and on the ground. It's kickball violation, still bomber ball. Mike and playing great defense here. Just nowhere to go for the bombers. Forbes checks in for the Stroyfer. It's an oop inbounds. No, doesn't convert. And Hernandez Euros around the charge. Woodard will slow things down. Vopolinski. It's an offensive foul called on Josh Woodard. Push off. 31-27. The Bombers lead the Braves with a minute and 15 seconds left here in the first half. Josh Woodard will check out with 13 points, but picked up his second foul. This is Hernandez, guarded by Northrop, over to Javier, address from three, no good, way long. He got one earlier. And you see that student one. section right there, <laughs> large tonight, uh, the biggest I've ever seen the student section, uh, over, over filling into the, the, out, the, the stairways too. Northrop, over to Forbes corner this is Valencia makes a move they'll swing things around the three-point line all the way over to Popolinski Northrop drives cuts finds Valencia and Valencia makes a great finish and lay in right there it's great ball movement by Bombers there finding the open guy Javier goes up and under. That's good. Gets him to eight on the night. No shot clock. The Bombers looking for a last shot of the half. 33-29, the Bombers lead over the Kamaikan Braves. Valencia, corner three, no good. And at the end of the first half, it's 33-29, the Bombers lead over the Kamaikan Braves. We'll be back with the Gale Rue Halftime Show here shortly.
attention fans. Unfortunately, it is that time again. If you drive a black Dodge Ram, California plate 520 you'll be towed in the next minute. If you drive a silver Ford Focus, license plate CDT5670, you also have one minute. On the five minute track, Gray BMW, Washington plate WW04964, black BMW, Washington plate CBC969, and red Mercedes, Washington plates along the fence. Unfortunately, you are partial to fire lane. Welcome back to Atomic TV and welcome back to the Gale Rue Halftime Show. Uh, Scotty, a phenomenal first half uh, of basketball. The, the Bombers lead 33-29. Uh, overall field goal percentage, as you see, has this amazing graphic cr uh, created by Tanner True. Uh, score 33-29, like I said. Field goal percentage. The Bombers are up 14% on field goal percentage and big three-point line. Bombers shooting 37 and the Braves only shooting 14. Free throw line on the other hand though, the Braves shooting 100% and the Bombers only shooting 33%. Uh, in the turnover category, the Bombers lead in a seven turnover category and the, the Braves have 10. So three more uh, turnovers for the Braves than the, than the Bombers. Uh, and, and you know, Scotty, it's a phenomenal, it, it was really a fun, a fun watch, a fun half to watch. Uh, great basketball, some leading scorers from the Bomber side of things. Josh Woodard leading scoring with 13, tagged on with seven from Valencia, as well as four from Westerfield, five from Hopelinski. So really spreading the love. On the Kamaikan side of things, same thing. They have two players with eight. Uh, Dress only scoring seven in that first half. Uh, so it, it, it's, you know, it, it's a... It's, it's an evenly matched game. We saw it last time over at Kamaik, and we're seeing it again here in our day wall. Uh, it, it's a great game. Yeah, yeah, it's super exciting, you know. Just to give a little more stats, uh, Bombers are leading in turnover points, 12 to 5. However, Kamaik, they're getting a lot of second chances. They're leading 10 to 2. It's kind of like a big stat, you know, uh, to look at. Just can the Bombers get rebounds on the defensive side? Right there, we have the player of the half, Josh Woodard for the Bombers. 13 points, two assists, three rebounds, and two steals. Really doing it all in all aspects of the game. Uh, you know, Woodard averaging 18.5 points on the season, so still not to that number yet, uh, but he's making a bigger impact in tonight's game uh, than, than most players on the court. The minute and 20 seconds left here, we'll let you wait out until the start of the second half. Thank you for tuning in to the Gale Rue Halftime Show.
Welcome back here to Atomic TV. The starters are on the court uh, for the Bombers as we start the second half. 33-29, the Bombers lead over the Kamaika Braves. Right now, I'd like to give a big shout out uh, down in California. We have Brendan Smith listening uh, from LMU, uh, a basketball player down there. So fun to have him watch uh, tonight's game. So one, one of the greatest things about Atomic TV is we're, we're given an opportunity for people to, to watch from anywhere. So if you're from anywhere other than the Tri-Cities, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, as always, go Bombers. Inbounding it for the Braves to start this half. It's number five, T Taysen Wager. Hernandez over to Gladney. Gladney forced inside Javier. Voplinski gets the steal. He'll slow things down. Westfield over to Forbes. Forbes drives. Mid-range shot. That's good. Gets it to go. Seen it all season long from Forbes. Just the pull-up jumper. He loves it, and he's great at it. Yeah, we saw uh, over at the Kamaikin games, couldn't tell you how many times uh, we saw him make that exact same shot. Dress cuts. Mid-range floater. That's good. Forbes over in Northrop, or Woodard over in Northrop, sorry. This is Woodard. Bank is open in the three is good. Hand was in his face. He got a little scared and luckily he got going. Moves him to 16 on the night. This is Gladney. He goes from three. No good. Forbes comes down with the rebound. Gladney, you know, teammates with a lot of these guys. He went to Richland uh, his his freshman year uh, and, and grew up through the Richland School District. Uh, so, you know, friends and, and teammates with a lot of these guys. So it's obviously a, a big night for him. Yeah, yeah. He's Westerfield hit. down low. And yeah, good for two. Friends with a lot of players. And even freshman year, him and Xavion were teammates at Richland High. And fun to go see him go at it down low. Timeout call. It's 30-second timeout. Scotty, we'll just stay here. Um, yeah, so Twaze Gladney is Xavion's uh, brother. Last year, Twaze, um, you know, he, he really helped this team. Didn't quite make it to state last year, but still a phenomenal season from him and really contribute to this team. And if Xavion still stayed at Richland, it, it, it would be a phenomenal, um, a phenomenal, even better team than they already are. Yeah, Richland was a good team last year. They played well, but it just the point weren't good enough to make it to state, like you said. You know, his little brother's now doing what he's doing. And both amazing players. Fortunately, Xavion plays for Kamalankin and not Richland, but still a great athlete. Javier gets it to Hernandez. Bomber ball going the other way. This is Vopolinski with it on the wing. Gets it to Forbes. Westerfield cutting. Forbes will find him. Pass intercepted. It's Fabian Hernandez going the other way. Rebound brought in by Westerfield. He's fouled by Javier. Foul, second half goes to Kamaikin. Second personal for Javier. Scotty, I did a little search in there. 
Waze Gladney actually is 29th all scoring uh, for the Bombers. Uh, Josh Woodard, he's sitting at, before the game, was sitting at 969 points, uh, sitting at 16th all time scoring. That time, Northrop, good from three point land. Yeah, 16th all time. He's still got the rest of the year and next year to move up on that list. Obviously, a very impressive list. Bomber basketball goes back a long way. Very amazing program for a long time. Mike and I will get to go there. This is Woodard. He drives, kicks out to Forbes. Forbes finds Northrop. Northrop again from three. That time, no good. Over the back call on Jack Forbes. Now a 12-point game here with four minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Javier over to Hernandez. Javier guarded by Forbes. Blocked. And Forbes somehow saved it, but off the hands of Woodard. It's Merrill in for the Braves. Get it into dress. It's Merrill blocked by Woodard in the corner. And shot clock goes off. Time expires. Yeah, Dress wanted a three, but Luke jumps the screen and has to get dish it off in the corner. And it's a media timeout, so with four minutes or three minutes and fifty-seven seconds left, the bombers lead 43-31 over the Kamai Braves. Welcome back here to Atomic TV. Bombers start with the ball after the break. Westerfield, no good for mid range. Dress made an unbelievable shot right there from the from the baseline. I mean, that's a phenomenal shot. Nothing he can do for the Bombers right there. Yeah, he was playing good defense. But just made a nice move and an even better shot. Bopolinski now can't get to go. Westerfield can't either, but he'll be going to the line for two. There's a look there. Bopolinski just couldn't get it to go. Just tried to finger roll right over the top, a little too much power. Westfield gets first to go.
Warren Rapids Hoop Cam presented to you that second make. Kinsley gets over to Gladney. Gladney pump fakes from three. Out to Kinsley. Kinsley this time unloads. That's good from three pointer. Big three there from Kamaya Ken, able to cut that big lead down to nine. Word dishes it. Westerfield inside. Gets his own rebound. Goes up again. Can't get it. Foul on Jack. Second personal. Second team foul. Westfield takes a seat. This is Kinsley. Gets it to Dress. Tipped away. Still Kamaika ball. Dress guarded by Volpulinski. Turnaround shot off the front rim. No good. And they call it off the hands of Northwood. Still Kamaika ball. A nine point game. The Bombers lead. Three-point shot, good by Merrill. Ball tipped off the Braves. Bomber ball. Forbes will take a breather. Destroy for inbounding for the Bombers. Gets it in Northrop. Bombers don't look kind of a small ball lineup right now. Gladney out. Northrop skip passes to Schroifer inside. Valencia goes up for the lay-in. Great move there by Valencia to get the two points. And Valencia's been trying to do that all night. Post up on a smaller guard and able to get it to go there. Over to Hernandez. Using the backboard, gets it to go. Gets him to 10 points on the night. Valencia. Gets a screen from Vopolinski. Looking for someone. Finds Woodard. Woodard drives. Off the glass. Finger roll lay in. That's good for Woodard. Foul called on Valencia. Northrop will take a seat for Westerfield. One CS, second personal, third team foul for the Bombers. Gladney will check back in as Westerfield does too. Shoemaker. Inside to Gladney. Gladney hands it off. This is Wager. Out to Merrill. Merrill blocked by Westerfield. Ball on the ground. Foul's called. Foul's called on Josh Woodard. It's his third personal foul. Forbes and Northrop come in for the Bombers. Vopolinski and Woodard will take a seat. Not good for the Bombers with Woodard out. Obviously in foul trouble. Let's see when he comes back in. Javier drives. Still rebounded by Schroeffer. Valencia. Out with it on the wing, gets a screen from Westerfield. Mid-range shot, he pulls up. Yeah, around the rim, and that's good. Yeah. 
This is Gladney with the ball. No shot clock. Under 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. It's a 10-point game. It's under 10 seconds. Javier drives. Gets blocked. Stuffed by Forbes. Northrop spun around. Time expires. And no shot is good. At the end of the fourth, at the end of the third quarter, the Bombers lead 51 to 41 over the Kamaikan Braves. Right there you have some after third quarter stats. Uh, Bombers shooting 57 from field goal and the Braves only 41, three point land. Bombers still staying strong at 45% uh, and the Braves only at 27. Free throw line, phenomenal stats for the Braves. 100% from the free throw line. Bombers only shooting 50%. Bombers still lead the turnover category by four. So, you know, the Bombers leading in most of the categories here in this game. Uh, and that big one up top, 51-41, you know, it all adds up to that. So at the start of the fourth quarter, high-intensity basketball game will come down to the wire. Ten points is all the Braves need to mount a comeback, and the Bombers trying to hold them off. This is Northrop set up the offense for the Bombers. Woodard over to Westerfield. Westerfield puts the ball on the ground, gets it to Woodard. Corner. This is Jack Forbes, mid-range shot, no good. Kinsley will bring down the ball for the Braves. Javier inside, up and under, athletic move there. Gets it to go. As Woodard comes the other way. Volpolinski just gets the ball ripped right out from, on, from him. And a foul is called. I'm not sure who the foul is called. It almost looked like what was, uh, Gladney kind of just tripped up. Yeah, he kind of lost his footing there and fell down, but I do think it was the right call there, kind of giving him some ride in his hip as he was trying to go for the layup. Horn Rapids Hoop Cam showing you a great shot there. for Gladney. Moves him to five for five on the night. 
from the vine. Gladney makes both. Six points for Gladney tonight, all from the line. Wobolinski bobbled the ball. It's on the ground. Kamai can go another way. <laughs> That's Gladney that gets the and one. He's trying to get three points the old fashioned way. And just like that, 10 point game at the start of the quarter. One minute later, it's a four point game. Chance at a three point. Misses his first free throw of the night. Gladney pump fakes out to Hernandez. Gladney from three, no good off the front rim. Woodard gets the rebound, going the other way. Woodard drives, finds Vopolinski on the other block. A great pass and a great finish by Vopolinski. Yeah, great find there for the bomber. Timeout called. It's a full timeout by the Braves. Six minutes, 14 seconds left in the ball game. It's 53-47. The Bombers lead over the Kamai Converts. Welcome back to our Dayball Gymnasium and Atomic TV. Hernandez gets the ball. Great snag there. Hernandez gets a screen from Kinsley. This is Merrill. He buries the three as the shot clock expires. He just cut the lead. And half from six to three, huge shot. Westerfield just passed it after Vol after Volplinski looked the other way. Yeah, just a bit of a miscommunication there. It was open and then looked away and was going to run through, but Westerfield still wanted to get it to him. This is Hernandez, looking for Javier, Javier now. Drives on fourth foul call, and he's going to the line, shooting two. Three. Jack's third personal, seventh team foul. Not going to be good here, just now in bonus, Mike is. First one missed by Javier. Well, Kamaik only has two fouls, so they're really got a lot of fouls to give here late in the game if it comes down to it. Oh, 
Second one missed by Javier as well. Great block out there by Popolinski, allowing Forbes to get in there and get that rebound. Yeah, it's something that they struggled with in the first half. A lot of second chance points. Not there though. Did really good. Popolinski just fired it a little too hot in there to, to Woodard. It's a couple turnovers in a row now. Yeah, he had him. Got a little too excited. Seen it once or twice before from him. Yeah, we'll be back here after the break shortly. Five minutes, 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 53-50, the Bombers lead. This is Hernandez, guarded by Northrop. Now it's Dress, Dress from deep. And he left that one way wide. Got a little too excited. Yeah, he, 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 want, he wants to cut the lead in, in possession. Can't get it there. Vopolinski from the corner, no good. Forbes fighting for a rebound, he gets it. Keeps it alive for the Bombers. This is Woodard. Drives left, off the foot, but stays in. Vopolinski to Forbes, Forbes from three. No good around the rim. I'm pretty sure that touched every single part of the rim. I, I just popped it out. This is Kinsley. Over to Javier. Javier mid range shot. Northrop bring down the rebound. This is Woodard. Woodard, floater, no good, off the back rim. Palmer's been getting some good looks. These last few possessions, just can't get him to fall. Press now, fade away, no good. One seal for the rebound. Chase on the wing. Rolls off the screen. This is Forbes with it on the wing. Drives baseline. Forbes goes up, try, finds Northrop down low. Northrop goes up, fouled on the way up, and he's going to the line, shooting two. two minute media timeout. It's a media timeout. We'll be back after the break.
Welcome back as Landon Northrup is on the line. At the line of the bomber, Landon Northrup. Northrup buries the first. Let's do a four point lead. Northrup misses the second. Javier saves it before it goes out of bounds. Hernandez. He's dressed with a top three point line. He spins, guarded by Woodard. Misses that. Westfield brings it down. Volpolinski going the other way. Finds Woodard. Blocked. And it's called for a foul. He's going to the line, shooting two. Hard foul there on Woodard. This is Woodard on the line. Shooting two. Makes the first. A double technical foul called. Technical foul called on both coaches. They, they cancel out, according to the ref. I, I don't know if I've seen that before. Woodard on the line, trying to make his second and get this to a six point lead. And he doesn't. Javier brings the rebound down. This is Hernandez, gives it into Javier. Two minutes, 40 seconds left here in the ball game. Gladney drives, guarded by Westerfield, kicks out. Javier unloads from three. That's no good. And a foul is called on Woodard. Woodard's fourth personal, ninth team foul. It's going to send. Coach Schroefert signaling for a timeout. Yeah, and he gets send, a timeout. It's going to send Merle to the line for a one and one when we come back from this timeout. It's a full timeout. We'll be back here shortly. Lot to break down there, Scotty. Uh, eventful last 30 seconds. Uh, it's a five point game. The Bombers lead 55 to 50. Um, two minutes, 33 seconds left. You couldn't ask for much, a much better way to spend your Friday night than here in Art Bayball Gymnasium watching these two fantastic teams battle it out. Four, uh, Woodard with four fouls now, so he's in foul trouble. As well as Forbes with three and the rest of the Bombers with one. And only Javier with five with uh, three fouls for Kamaikin. This is Northrop. He goes the other way. Woodard gets a screen from Westfield. No, he'll bypass it. This time he gets it from Forbes. Over to Northrop inside Westerfield. Westfield out. 
And Forbes from the corner, off the front rim, no good. Great ball movement by the Bombers. Found the shot, couldn't hit it. This is Javier inside. And it's off the hands of the Bombers. Nice pump fake. Looks like I thought he was going to draw the foul, but keep the ball anyways. This is Dress inbounding it. Javier now gets over Hernandez. Dress guarded by Volpolinski. Timeout called by Kamaikin before they lost possession of it. It's a full timeout. They have one timeout remaining after this one. It's 55 to 50, the Bombers lead over the Braves. This is Gladney inbounding it for the Braves. Five point ball game with just under two minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. He throws it all the way over to Javier. Dress unloads from three, that's no good. Hernandez gets the rebound. This time Westerfield brings it down. And a foul is called. Won't matter too much because Braves do have a foul to spare. Two more fouls this spare. Two more. In the water. Oh, oh, oh. Woodard tries to find Westerfield, but passes it to the bench. Yeah, looks like a miscommunication there. Crazy to get the ball back. No defense. <laughs> this is Hernandez, guarded by Northrop. Hernandez gets it to Dress. Dress goes inside. This is Javier. Javier now guarded. And it's Westerfield that tipped the shot. And it's off the Braves, and it's going the other way. Bomber ball. This is Kinsley that will check in. As well as Jordan Valencia. Bomber still lead by five. And scored in about two, two, three minutes. Yeah, it's been a very defensive game. Uh, so it's obviously exciting. This is Vopolinski. He drives, gets the lay and a go off the glass. Seven point game here with just under a minute to play. This is Javier, or I mean, sorry, Hernandez. It's Kinsley, he unloads, no good from three. Woodard gets the rebound and he'll slow things down. Woodard finds Valencia. 30 seconds left here. Hernandez goes the other way. He doesn't make the land. He's going to the line, shooting two. Time out, Richard. 30 second time. 
30 second timeout for Richland. After the break, both teams have one timeout left. 27 seconds left, the Bombers lead by seven. This is Hernandez. Barry's the first. 57-51, six-point game now. At this point, you almost want Hernandez to try and throw it off the rim, get two quick back-to-back -back threes. It's tough to ask for, but kind of your only option. But he decides to shoot it normally, and Northrop brings down the rebound. Fouled, he's going to the line. Northrop misses the first, and it misses the only. Hernandez gets it to Merrill. Merrill buries it from three, and it's a three-point ball game. Merrill has made so many threes here in this game. It's really phenomenal to watch. Huge three by Kamayakin. Turns us from a six-point to a three-point, one-possession game. Obviously, 15 seconds left. You're going to have to foul and hope that the Bombers aren't going to score. You can't really give up any time. The other option, you could try and force a turnover, but it's tough to ask for. And at the end of the day, they could just run out the clock. Yeah, we saw it in the girls' game. Uh, Milam was trying to foul, and it, it turned into a turnover, uh, which is what you hope for if you're the Braves. And if you're the Bombers, all you're trying to do is get the ball in. You know they're going to try and foul. Uh, that's the one shot they have because you can hold the ball for 15 seconds. I mean, pass it around a little bit, but basically hold the ball for 15 seconds. This is Woodard inbounding it. Uh, there's no one I'd rather have inbound the ball than uh, first team all quarterback Josh Woodard, I'm not gonna lie. Woodard gets it in to Northrop. Foul called and Northrop's going back to the line. He did just miss the first one last time. And he only gets one opportunity. The second shot doesn't matter too much because it turns into more of a two possession game. Yeah, one, one, one point right here could change the whole dynamic of this game and make it a, make it a different ball game. First stress of the game on a freshman. He misses it, but what, or Volpilinski brought it down. It's called for a travel. Yeah, he, he tried his best to bring it down, and he did, but couldn't keep his footing and fell down. And a big thing is the Braves do have no timeouts left. Uh, so if they they can't stop the clock by any means other than a foul. Well, I'm sure in that last timeout, Coach was already drawn up a play for them to run. It's huge 13 seconds left. One shot at a three to tie the game. Send it back into overtime like we saw last time. Hernandez brings it down the court. He pulls up from three and misses it. We'll see if it gets out of bounds. 
and somehow Kinsley made an athletic play, threw it in the hands of Woodard. 4.9 seconds left. I have no idea how he did that, but he just gave him one last shot with five seconds remaining. Five seconds left, the ball in their side of the court. Throws it all the way across the three-point line, and he steps out of bound, and it's going the other way. The Bombers ball. Still three seconds left, and the Bombers still need to get the ball in. They get it in to Volpolinski, and he's going to line. 2.5 seconds on the clock, and it's 57-54. From the Bombers, there's no one I'd rather have going to the free throw line than Volpolinski. He's cool, calm, and collected. That's just that's how I describe Jace Volpolinski, nothing else. He's been in these positions, played varsity as a freshman, fourth tier here. He knows what to do. Makes the first and he gets the second opportunity. That right there, I'd say, seals the game more than anything. It's, uh, unless they get another four point play, which is insane. At this point, the Bombers are just backing up, saying, We'll let you take the three. Wopolinski makes both. He's got ice in his veins. There's nothing else to describe him. And the half court shot is good. But the Bombers still win by two points. The Bombers win both times against the Braves. And they sweep the Kamaikan Braves this year. At the end of the game, the Richland Bombers 59, the Kamaikan Braves 57. We'll be back with the Gail Rue post-game show shortly. What an exciting game it was today.
All right, well, you guys continue to watch the net cutting. Uh, I, I'm joined by Coach Schroefert. Coach, a uh, phenomenal game tonight, 59-57. Uh, two, two wins against a, a good team in Kamayakin. Uh, what's this mean to you? Well, it's special for our guys. I mean, I've had an opportunity to watch a lot of net cutting in my day. Just been very fortunate and, you know, group of seniors, six guys that stuck it out for four years and got better every year and, you know, battled to win a share of a title last year and, you know, got the outright one tonight. I mean, we threw the ball all over the gym and kind of made a mess out of things there for about four minutes. But, you know, when it mattered, they made the two that mattered. And here we are. Uh, Coach, so tonight, obviously, you guys win the league uh, and, and puts you in first place going into the, the district championship or district tournament. Things will be a little different this year, not hosted in, in an arena. Uh, but what does it mean to be able to play at home in a district game? Well, you always want to put yourself in that position when you can. Your fans deserve it. And, you know, the, the, way, the, the way the regional district tournament works now, you just home court's a huge advantage. And guys have earned it by how they've, how they've persevered all year long and just gotten better. And, and I think we can still get a little bit better. So hopefully we have a good run, get out. These last two games, got Kennewick tomorrow, and they'll be tough at their place, and then Walla Walla coming to town on Tuesday, and then we'll we'll worry about what's next. But super proud of our guys, and packed house tonight, and great atmosphere for basketball. And it's the way basketball ought to be in the MCC, right? Yeah. Friday night, Saturday night, gym's packed, people having a great time. So super happy for our guys. Well, congratulations to Coach, uh, again, Coach, on winning the MCC this year uh, and just doing it so many times. Uh, so good luck with, with the rest of the season. Thank you for joining me tonight. Never gets old, Max. <laughs> Never gets old. Thank you. That's going to that's gonna be a wrap on tonight's MCC matchup. 59 for the Bombers and 57 for the Braves. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in to Atomic TV from all over. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, it, it really means a lot, uh, and we love doing what we do. So thank you to all, all who are part of it. Tanner True, Tate Meyer, Sean Murphy, Richland CT, and, of course, Horn Rapids, Gail Rue, and Roosters. Thank you guys. Have a fantastic night.